Jerusalem, I call me. Okay, guys, welcome back to my kitchen, Grace's Kitchen. Today, what I'm going to do for you all, I'm going to show you how I do my French fry chicken. So, I'm going to go straight ahead and I'm going to season my chicken. Um, first, I just want to tell you a big thank you for continuing to support my channel. Thank you for watching, sharing, and guys, remember please to watch the ads. You know, it's very important for you to watch the ads. Alrighty, so what I'm going to use on my chicken, some, this is the chicken season. This is complete season. Um, this is some onion powder, garlic powder. I have some lemon black pepper season and I have Maggie Hall purpose and I have sorry garlic and salt season and I'm going to put a little pinch of pepper powder and my sesame for color all right so guys as you can see I already washed my chicken and I clean it I wash it with lemon juice but um because the leg is too big what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put some slice like into it so it can um soak this is how i do my chicken leg when it's like too um big for it to soak properly all right legs are so big and with the meat I kind of you know for them to soak properly all right okay so I'm gonna go straight ahead and I'm gonna put my let me remove this I'm gonna put my um season on my chicken now so i'm gonna put one teaspoon of chicken season you know i'm gonna put like two teaspoon of the chicken season two teaspoon of chicken season two teaspoon of the maggie all purpose you want to make sure your chicken season properly because you want your chicken to have taste i'm gonna put a teaspoon of the garlic and salt season one teaspoon of the lemon black pepper i'm gonna put this is some onion powder i'm gonna just put everything because actually everything because this is like a small amount in it and on the garlic powder, I'm going to put one teaspoon of garlic powder, the complete season. I'm going to put a pinch of it. And for the pepper, I'm going to put a little pinch of the pepper. All right. Not too much because you don't want it too hot. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my sazana into it this is for color this give the chicken color and guys you want to make sure your season see um your meat season properly and what i'm going to do i'm going to season this and i'm going to leave it for because i really need my meat to um season properly i want to season to taste in my meat mm -hmm. And I'm gonna leave it for it to marinate. Said I like my meat. When mostly like when I'm um, doing French fried chicken, I like my meat to season from overnight and um, fry. So I'm gonna leave this to marinate. And um, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how I French fry my chicken. And as you can see, I take the skin from the chicken. I don't like the skin on the chicken. 
you could do it because most people like to fry their chicken with do their french fried chicken with the skin on it but i don't like it i like the skin to come off and make sure my chicken clean up properly all right so i'm gonna leave this for a hour and you will see when i'm back to fry my chicken okay so as you can see my chicken i season it let me tell you i season my chicken from last night when i tell you i'm gonna season it and leave it for a hour i season it and i leave it for the next day so i'm gonna do my french fried chicken now i'm gonna show you how i do my french fried chicken so my see my chicken season from overnight i have uh, some milk two eggs and uh, the flour so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put that over here i'm gonna season my flour now for my chicken so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put one teaspoon of garlic and salt season i'm gonna put one teaspoon of paprika for color because you know you want your chicken to pretty and i'm gonna put a little maggie all purpose you know you already season your chicken so you don't want to overdo with the season because you don't want your meat to be salty and i'm gonna put one teaspoon of baking powder into the flour all right so i'm gonna put a little garlic powder okay you want your chicken to taste nice so I put half teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, so you're gonna go straight ahead and I'm gonna mix everything together. Okay, so this is the flour mixture. All right, I'm gonna put that aside for the eggs now. Um, I'm using two eggs, all right? I'm gonna break the egg. gonna pour my oil milk this is 100 percent oil milk and i'm gonna switch around normally you could season your your um water ingredients your egg and your milk you could put the season into it and i'm gonna put it in the flour or you could uh, put it in the flour whichever you prefer you could do it i put the season in my flour i will be back so as you can see i have my oil over here getting hot for my chicken normally when i'm frying my chicken i put garlic into the oil so i place um the garlic in the oil so i will be back when the oil is ready so meantime my oil is getting ready for my chicken i'm gonna show you exactly how i do my chicken all right so first you're gonna make sure you get your chicken right you're gonna put it in the wet ingredients all right the wet ingredients and you're gonna put it into the flour so this is for the wet ingredients this is for the dry you could dip it again if you want into the wet ingredients then you dip it in the flour but i'm gonna do it one time i'm not gonna dip it twice all right so as you can see and as i said guys you could fry your chicken do your french fry chicken with the skin on it doesn't matter you don't have to take the skin off and as i said you could dip your chicken again and next time into the 
wet ingredients could dip it the next time like you dip it in the wet ingredients put it in the flour dip it again in the wet ingredients and dip it back in the flour but I'm doing it one time all right so this is simple and easy if you follow my recipe you can't go wrong You want to make sure your oil is hot like really hot before you put your chicken into the pot normally you could put a uh, pepper into your oil also but I'm not gonna put any pepper in my oil because I already put some hot pepper powder in my on the chicken so I I'm not gonna put any pepper into it I put the garlic and guys thank you so much for continuing to watching my video I really appreciate it guys I really appreciate you all please share my channel tell somebody about my kitchen you can see the garlic is frying up now so you can know that the oil is coming to on hot all right, so I'm going to leave this for now until I finish with this. Then I will be back with the rest. So, okay, my oil is ready. So, I'm going to put my chicken into the pot. And remember, you want your chicken to cover with the oil. Remember, when you find chicken, fried chicken, your chicken must always cover with oil. Because you want your chicken to soak through. Right, you want the oil to soak um, through the chicken. You see that? You can see the chicken. And you're gonna cover your pot. And you're gonna leave it fried. I will be back. Okay guys, so let me show you what's going on over here. You can see my chicken frying, it's not ready, but it's fine, look at it. I'm just showing you a little glimpse of what's going on over here, you see? So guys, it, it's very important when you're frying your chicken, make sure the oil cover your chicken. All right, it's very important. All righty, I will be back. Okay, so as you can see, my chicken is frying. So um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the pot cover off. Why I cover it, I never remember to tell you. Why I cover the chicken is for it to steam, you know, and um, soak properly. So now this is already cooked. I'm gonna leave the pot open for it to get more color like to fry dry a little then I will take this out and you will see the finish look of my chicken it's not really it's not ready as yet so I'm gonna leave it and as I said I'm gonna leave the pot open and you will see how it look when I'm done all right do not touch that dial just stay tuned till I'm so as you can see this is ready to take out all right so i'm going to take these out and i'm going to place them on this um little grill for it to um drain the oil i put it on the the oil paper so the oil can drain from it all right and i'm going to put the rest in the pot It smells so nice. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the rest of chicken into the pot. And as you can see, my chicken cover with the wow, sorry, with the oil right through. 
all right remember when you find the chicken it's supposed to cover with the oil all right you will see the finished look of my french fried chicken okay so these are the last set of my chicken and um, i take the cover off so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave it for it to take time and soak through properly and fry then um i'm gonna take these out okay so this can come out now this is finished so i'm gonna take this out Alright. Okay, so this is my fried chicken. I'm gonna cut cut it that you see how pretty it is. Look. You see how nice and pretty that is. You can see it soak right through. Look how nice and pretty it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna present it and um, I will be back. Okay, okay, so this is uh, the complete look of my french fried chicken. As you can see, let me show you. This smells so nice, tastes good. And um, as I said, guys, when you're doing your French fried chicken, make sure your hot, your um, chicken in uh, enough oil. All right, you're doing the deep fry chicken, so you want your chicken to cover with oil. All right, so this is it. You can go ahead and share my videos. Click that notification bell tell somebody about my channel all right tell them go over samantha and look what's going on over there a lot of goodies over there all right thank you all i really appreciate you all have a blessed day bye